And the fifth part is for the personnel management. So through this part, you can learn how to set up your staff list, visitor list, and the black list. So on the left, you can, I think the most important part is for the employee list. So just click here and I will show you how to upload your employee information. So here you can see there is single edition and the add in block. So if you say no, if you uh, for the practical operation, I suggest you import information in block. So just download the tablet, first step, download tablet. After you download, there's one Excel here. So this is the Excel, the tablet. So you need to input your employee information inside. And the right information in right column is the mandatory for the sale. You must have this information in and ID, uh, personal ID, name, phone number, and the belonging groups. For phone number, name, and the personal ID must be different from each other. And after you finish, you just save it on your laptop and you click upload Excel. So here. So here you can upload Excel here. Start import word. Then you can see the report. Three people upload successfully six people field. And this is the error details, so you can change the error, do some adjustment to uh, resolve these errors. And when you back to the list, you can see you can see the information is here, but there's no pictures there. So just another method: import your pictures, stuff pictures in the system. So this is a very important rule. You need to read this first, first before you upload anything. So the rules tell us first the picture ID should be same with your uh, stuff ID. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, five, five pictures. So and then to compare them in one uh, comparison document. So then after that, you can upload from this document here. So start mode for it is, and you can see five people are uploaded successfully. Back to the list, you can see the pictures are put in the, in the match the uh, client the staff information. And uh, click refresh, your device will download. If the device is in the network, it will download automatically from the server. So this will start working. Let's say you have 50 devices, they will start working when you refresh this in system. And here, if, if the, here is the very important rule for the face recognition uh, portrait and uh, give some basic requirement for the, your the face pictures. So if the picture is not clear, we suggest that you clear the picture from the system and register from the device. When you click, you can see if your device is online, you can click any of them to register your stuff pictures here and then save. Yeah. I did successfully come back to the list. So here you can you can see the group here. This group means, let's see, I want to set up group for sales to give that's the rules for the name. So you can put the salesperson in this group. So I mean, you can, later I can show you there's one place to assign a admin for the different teams. I say the sales director can check their employees, the employees in their sales team only. 
here. So another one is the visitor management. So with the visit management, let's say so just visitors come or visit, you can add them in the system. And pictures pictures belong to phone numbers. So you register them in the system and then you re refresh the when they come they can scan scan from the device and enter your building or office. Here, here is the blacklist management. So here you can uh, add the blacklist when this person come to the device and uh, do face scan, the, uh, the device can record record their uh, their face or pictures and give a, even give an alarm to warn the system, system uh, operator that the uh, person from blacklist reach the building, reach the office. This is uh, for the personnel management function. Thank you.